Hello! When I first started this YouTube channel 1200 million years ago, nearly all the knockoff consoles had just crap LCD games in them. These days, they're all emulation boxes, you know, what run all the ROMs with the old games on and stuff. But there are fewer and fewer ones which are a direct knockoff of the design of an existing console. But they do still exist. Allow me to introduce. Pow Kitty X2. Oh no, it's gone too far. Beep, 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 beep. There we are. Yes, Pow Kitty X2. Or possibly Times 2. No, it wouldn't be Times 2. There'd be two in the box. And I checked the box earlier, and there is certainly only the one. So Pow Kitty make quite a ensemble of. Uh, well, substandard um, handheld emulation consoles, as far as I can tell. Apparently they don't make very good ones. I've never seen one myself, so we shall uh, explore this thing together today and see if they're as bad as it is made out. Very little in the box, just this sort of design, some damage that happened in the post. That's it, really. Um, made by Shenzhen Pow Kitty Network Technology Limited. 8 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes, or 32 gigabytes? Nobody knows. I do, because um, I ordered the 32. I seem to recall it didn't even offer the others. So that's easy. Right, <sighs> wait till you see this. I mean, you have to wait a while because the box is stuck. Hang on. There we are. Plop. Yeah, as you can see, it's a total rip of the PlayStation 5. No, this is about. They may as well have just called it the Nintendo Swatch or something. Do you know what I mean? Hello, this is my face. I'm wearing a hat. I hope you're well. Yeah, um, there's not much else in the box. Um, saying that, I didn't look properly, so maybe there is. Little quality control thing. Micro USB cable that's so short it may as well not exist. And video game consoles instructions. Game machine. Oh, hang on. What's the English like? Uh, yeah, no, pretty interesting. Matters needing attention. I know that feeling. This section is designed for users to correctly use the player's good performance. Please read and comply with the carefully. Wow. Do not hit the main engine seriously. <laughs> hey man, I'm going to hit the main engine, but I'm going to do it in a really funny way. Do not contact with benzene, thinner, and other chemicals. Please keep away from strong magnetic fields and power plant. Please avoid direct light or heater. Please avoid direct light. I hope that doesn't... I hope that means strong sunlight. Do not disassemble, repair, or reconstruct by yourself. When cycling, driving a car, or motorcycle, do not use the player and the second level so as not to cause danger. <laughs> it's fine, you can go along on your bike with this in one hand, swerving everywhere, as long as you're on level one, reach level two, instant death. Do not listen at high volume to avoid adverse effects on hearing. Okay, that, that actually makes sense. Um, that's, that's quite a little joy there, isn't it? So, let's have a look at the device then. It's, uh, yeah. I'm going to assume the Joy-Cons don't come off, and also they're not Joy-Cons. Yep, I was correct there. So, what do we have connection-wise? Two micro USB at the bottom, which is uh, interesting. One charges it and, I don't know, the other one's for... Um, spare chargings. Now, I mean, presumably you can plug some sort of micro USB joypad into it, but I have no such thing. I have no controllers that connect via that. I mean, I've got PlayStation 4 controllers which connect via micro USB, but they connect micro USB at the end of the controller. So I don't know what you'd plug into here. Maybe some of you have got things that do that. I don't know. Little vents for your speakers there. You've got all your control. Whoa, that ain't good already. The top spins are the bloody analog sticks. You are shitting me. It's going to be uncontrolled. Oh, God. Well, this is going to be a thing. Um, there's your headphone socket, HDMI out. Uh, you've got that for your trans flash card, or SD card, as we generally refer to them. Um, ow. Ow. I've got a sticker stuck to my elbow. It's that lucky cat from the other day, which I foolishly left on the table. And here is the, what uh, make of card is it? CPI. CPI. Notice me, CPI. 32 gigabyte. Yep. Um, full of very, very little, actually, to be honest with you. I did take it out and pop it in the PC. And in, as you would expect, there's just folders with ROMs in, really. I did add a file, a video file, which we will test later. Uh, 720p. I've got no idea if it'll work. Plus and minus will be the volume, I presume. Yep, that has to be pretty much. You've got your power and you've got your lovely... Sh oh, God. Whoa, those don't feel good. Shoulder buttons. So, um, I am going to assume that uh, these buttons can be used instead of this horrible analogue. Oh, but these are bloody unusable as well. Ah! Oh, oh could you have, they've got so much travel on them, you have to really push down and then spit on the screen. Sorry, everybody. Um, so, if you're trying to do, like, 
a manoeuvre where you're going, you know, diagonally or something like that. Oh, that's awful. Absolutely awful. Dragon punch time. Ow. Yeah, you push that one down, and then it's so far down, the other one's so far up, your thumb just hits it and it hurts you. Unbelievable. So I've got a lot of glue stuck under my fingernail from making a model earlier. That's going to really annoy me later. Right, um, that's presumably to go back. OK, that all makes sense pretty much. Um, I suppose we're going to have to compare sizes with a real Nintendo Switch. Oh, it's a lot taller. I honestly thought it would be about the same, but no. Almost exactly the same length. It's flatter um, because you've got shit buttons and only one of them. But uh, yeah, definitely taller. Interesting. So if you want to know the specs of this thing, the Pow Kitty X2, not the Nintendo Switch, I'll stick them on the screen. Look, it's got a 1024 by 600 screen, which is about seven inches from diagonal to diagonal. Uh, it's got a Cortex A7 1.3 gigahertz CPU, which is yeah, that's good enough. It's going to emulate you some stuff. And worryingly, only 256 megabytes of RAM, which I think is going to be a problem when it comes to PlayStation stuff, which it does claim to emulate. So, hmm, hmm, and again, hmm. I'd also like to point out that I spent £67.46 on this. I think you can get them even more expensive if you want, but that's how much I paid from AliExpress. That's quite a lot of money um, for something that's feeling quite cheap already. It, it doesn't feel too bad in the hand. It's maybe a little bit too tall. Um, you're going to have trouble if you want to use these buttons and this. But then again, these buttons aren't going to work properly. Then again, neither is this bloody analog stick or the other one. Surely this will just emulate the buttons. That's going to be useless, isn't it? I don't know. Let's turn it on and see what we can see. Pow, kitty, you're so fine. You're so fine, you blow my mind. Pow, kitty! is well, I'm probably not going to be singing. So the screen, um, it's very clear. What's your viewing angles? Uh, very good for this kind of thing, actually. Yeah, perfectly, perfectly acceptable. Um, brightness is all right. Can we go into settings and actually fiddle with the brightness? Yes, we can. Also, the battery is mostly charged, which is handy, because I didn't actually check that beforehand. Right, language, display. What is display? Full screen or equal proportion? <laughs> we are obviously going to play uh, in the original aspect ratio. We're not idiots. Theme. What does that do? I'll change the background. I'm certain that this, this whole theme with the size of future sci-fi windows there really reminds me of a template you can buy from Adobe Stock that I looked at when we were making Polybius Heist. So, hmm, maybe that's a thing. Backlight is... Oh, this is the brightest. OK. Yep. I mean, if you're in the dark or something, that's absolutely fine. We can leave on maximum because we're filming. Timeout. Yeah. Connection. HDMI. Computer or handle. Oh, so you can maybe... Is that what the USB port is for? You can use this as a controller? That's evil. This is the worst controller ever. I'm not even going to test that. I hope that. I just hope that's not true. And you can wipe the SD card. Let's not do that. History. Well, oh, that's an interesting idea. So you can go in and see what you've played before and uh, go in and quickly access games you've played recently. That's quite clever. We can see a jump cut because the battery ran out in the camcorder. Right, what have we got then? CPS, Child Protective Services. No, wait. It is uh, Capcom's arcade system. Look, arcade icon is a bit of a giveaway. We have FBA, Final Burn Alpha. That is, again, the more arcade stuff. FC, Famicom, a Nintendo Entertainment System. Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, uh, Game Boy Color, Game Gear, Mega Drive, or Genesis, um, Neo Geo. That'll be a good one for testing the sound because uh, the startup tune is always really off on a lot of bad emulators. And Sonic the Hedgehog will be the way we'll test this one, which I presume will be on here, because blimey, um, yeah, some of the sound emulation on these uh, Mega Drive emulators, not good. PlayStation, nice, and SFC, Super Famicom. Maybe you can add other ones. This is feeling a little bit retro archy to me, but um, I don't know. They didn't advertise it as running with anymore, so I ain't going to try it. And we're using everything that was just on the uh, SD card already with the exception of one movie, which we'll probably have a look at now, actually. Movie! There it is. Comic Book Splash was already on there. I don't know what this is. <gasps> so exciting! So washed out! Hmm. Yep, no, it's fairly low bitrate as well. Well, th that's a thing. Thanks for that. Will it play 1970s public service announcements? Yes, it will. Nice. I should actually make some alteration here so it looks more on screen like it does to the naked eye. Because it's a bit blown out on the viewfinder. Mind you, it might be alright when recorded. You never know. That alteration will now have happened. 
Right, enough of this. We don't need to teach people how to break into um, power stations to get killed by electricity like these stupid kids. Bloody hell. If you want to know what that, that thing in its entirety, do uh, pop along to the old uh, Twitch, which I do every week at 8pm UK time. That's twitch.tv forward slash ashens. Right, file. What's all this about? Oh, you can just go in and file manage. That's fun. Well, there's no pissing around, really, is there? Straight into the games, I suppose. Right, what CPS have we got? 19xx, uh, Muscle Bomber Duo, Mercs. Oh, really bad file names. Look at that. Just really sort of oblique contractions. It's a very Street Fighter Alpha. That's probably what we'll end up using, actually. Punisher. So, yeah. In fact, it's always good to test these things with uh, your awful, awful controls. I mean, I mean look. Look. This, these spin. These spin, for God's sake. Try and, let's try and do some dragon punches and see what occurs. What other stuff we're going to Street Fighter Alpha 2, Street Fighter Alpha 3, Willow, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. DDSM, oh, Dungeons and Dragons, Shadow of Mistara, and Tower of Doom. Oh, wonderful games. Wonderful. Right, enough. We're going to do Street Fighter Alpha, the first one, which I haven't played for donkey's years, because, you know, you always end up playing three. Or maybe two, if you feel that way. Right, these buttons and everything are just dreadful already, because, yeah, your hands barely fit around them. Right, get on with it. Start. Do the start. Oh, no, I suppose it'll be select to put coins in first. Yep. Marvellous. Oh, here we go. Right. Uh, oh, I couldn't actually move right. Fantastic. Go on, let's have Ryu. He's the most uh, simple one. Speed as slow as you possibly can with these. Right. Jump back. Yeah, that works. Okay. Oh, what? Bloody hell! It doesn't even spin around properly. I got stuck. It's stuck moving right. This is appalling, right? The shoulder buttons are, good God, borderline unusable. The punch one basically isn't working. Um, if I push it right from the left-hand side of it, I'm getting something out of it. Oh, I can't, good God, this is appalling. Right, let's try a dragon punch. There, oh, we've got a fireball, that's something. All right, dragon punch time. No, that's, that's, oh, I can't even jump down in that direction properly. Oi, less of that. No, I, I can't get anything out there at all. Right, let's try the buttons. Uh, these equally not good. Like, super not good. As I said before, you just run one into the other and hurt your thumb. Oh, no, no I, I actually can't even do a fireball with these but properly. Hang on, I might have worked it. Can we now do his super fireball? No, no, we can't. Oh, wait, if, hang on, if I, like... No, 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 no. Hang on. Ah. Oh. Uh, this is horrible, horrible. Right. Let's try the other analog pad. Yeah, that just uh, makes things fly around. That's just. This is just the worst. The absolute bloody worst. All right, I've got a plan. Hang on. No, he's doing special moves. Yes. That is how I can do his. <laughs> Super fireball by putting my hand here and moving it really quickly. That is dreadful, right? I'm presuming this button takes us out, yeah. So, uh, the screen is a bit washed out. It's not awful, but the yeah, it hasn't the color definition's not rich at all. It's all a little bit washed out. Um, clarity is pretty good, um, and it emulated it well, but the controls are dog shit on a plate, and the plate is also made of dog shit. Uh, it's yeah, it's ruined. Simple as. If you can't plug another controller into this, it's useless. So that's nice. Um, what if you play a slightly simpler game? Well, so we've got to do something for Final Ben Alpha. Art of Fighting. Yep, yep, see, well, Dino. Cyberlip? What's that? Cyberlip? Oh my god, it's actually called Cyberlip. I thought given it a funny name for a second. Uh, Bang Bead. I see. Breakers. Actually, Double Dragon 3. Double Dragon again. There's a lot of uh, repetition from the other one. Final Fight. Okay, well, let's just jump into uh, Final Fight. What about Fat Fur SP? Oh, Fatal Fury, of course. <laughs> so slightly worrying there. Right. Let's have a peek. Um, I'll just, yeah. Surely, if we're just having to walk around in eight directions, this won't be too bad. And you don't have to use the sh shoulder buttons. I'm, I'm quietly confident, friends. My confidence was my foolishness. Right. Guy Cody, well, obviously Hagger, because he can pile drive people and 
if I recall correctly, their shadow sticks to their feet. No! Go save your daughter, Mike the Hagger. Also, do that a lot, because that's not weird at all. Oh, what? Oh. oh, God, I couldn't move up. This is just awful. Absolutely awful. No, their uh, shadow does not stick to their feet. That must be one of the home computer versions I'm thinking of. Probably the Atari ST one. Um, this is just... Yeah. Right, let's try the buttons. Right, the buttons work better for this, and because I'm not having to do any moves. Oh, mind you, then I want to do diagonals, and it actually gets slightly painful. Oh, bloody hell. This this is a a thing of great evil. Not Final Fight. Final Fight's just a bit dull and massively overrated, but... Uh, the, uh, oh, God, right. Come on. Actually, why don't we tap the power? Come on. Yes! Straight into the bloody... Oh, look! Clearly Retro Arch. Bloody hell. Oh, that's nice, because you can save and load states and stuff. I was not expecting to get straight into the sort of um, workings of it like that. Bloody hell, that's... Uh, wow, is all I'm saying to that. Wow and wow. Well, we know what it is now. Right, quit, and we'll just run through the other emulations. Oh, press the wrong button. Let's press the right one. Uh, uh, quick NES, Gamble, no Blaster Master, Super Horsepower, Euro 1. That, that's clearly Mario. Mario is now called Horsepower? Is Not everything has a picture. That's weird. Well, from now on, Mario will be referred to as Horsepower, because that's not weird at all. Now we're in a Super Mario Housebreaker. <laughs> oh, it's Wrecking Crew, whatever it's called. Bloody hell. Venture Island, Kung Fu Online. Mm -hmm. All right, then. Not something I've heard of. Various versions of Double Dragon... Hollywood Squares, Lonely Soldiers, <laughs> Underground Exploration 1. What? Lonely Soldiers. Isolated Warrior has been translated as Lonely Soldiers. That is just perfect. A couple of G.I. Joe games. No, I'd go on. Good Boy, Sword of 634. Didn't even see the right. I've got to see what that is. Some sort of uh, completely unplayable Japanese RPG I can't understand, I presume. Maybe. Right, how do we start? Start button I like. Oh. oh, he's got his doge at the bottom, look. Fuck you, give me a dagger. And it did. Well, this works fine. Until I have to move diagonally, I presume. Yeah, I'm not going to move. This analog stick is just... I mean, even if you do start to get in the right direction, the top of it spins, so you can't get any purchase with your thumb. And then it just gets jammed moving in directions. It's so cheap and awful. Bloody hell. Well, that seems to be a pleasant little game. I'm not aware of that one. Right, that'll do for that. Let's skim through what we've got left. Game Boy. Lucky look! <laughs> brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Which Jojo Gogo? Well, it could be that. Dominates the wall metal slug. Ambush the dragon! Ambush the dragon too! Keep reamping the reincarnation of God. Blimey, look at the deep names here. Ninja Frog. Battletoads has become Ninja Frog. Perfect. Uh, digital Tyrannosaurus Computer. Uh, okay then. Uh, let's pick something. We're going on Wario Island. Wario Land or whatever, isn't it? Um, which I uh, do remember completing on the Game Boy, and it was very good. Ooh, I'm not entirely sure about the emulation of the screen there. That was a little bit, uh... How do we jump? Oh, you probably can't this one. That'll do. Just get file eight. Start us off. Go on. Whatever's. How do we... No, just, just do a thing, bloody Wario, you big tit. Rice speech. Yep, that'll do. No, that kicks us out every time. Just, just... We made it. The important thing is that we survived. Right. Oh dear. Just don't feel that great. Yeah, there's something about the... Look, when you do the rush uh, shoulder barge, it's all a bit glitchy and odd looking. Is that because it was? it's assuming you'll have the Game Boy... I've never emulated this game. So is it assuming you'll have the blurry Game Boy screen and has taken that into account, and which is obviously not... Uh, true in this pixel sharp emulation, or is it just a crap emulation? I don't know. Do you know what? I don't care because the controls are too so bad you can't play it anyway. So, yeah. GBA Game Boy Advance, go on. Advance Wars 2, Mike Tyson, uh, boxing, Mario Kart, 
Um, Sonic Advance. Do you know what? Got to see if you can play Mario Kart. I knew it was like it's the law, the law. I tell you. Oh man, imagine trying to play it on that. That's just hurting my brain already. Mario Kart Super Circuit. Yay! Right, that'll do. Yep. Just jump in, and I'll press all the wrong buttons <laughs> and kick us straight out. Apparently. Um, quick run. That sounds good. Am I quitting this every bloody time by pressing the wrong... I don't know which button is mapped to what! Ugh. Right, I'm just going to press start for everything. It's fine. Let's be... Uh... I've forgotten what new name he had already. He was house wrecking earlier. And... Flower cup, that'll do. Oh, just, just start the bloody game. I want to see what the emulation's like. Oh yeah, looks right. No idea which button does which here. Oh yeah, oh that's fine. This this feels a lot better than the Game Boy emulation. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, this is fine. Perfectly playable, nice and smooth. Yeah, controls are uh, working well. Well, I say the controls are working well. I mean, in the sense that there isn't like a massive lag or anything. Obviously the actual controls are absolutely disgusting and make me want to vomit my guts up pretty much uh, constantly for the rest of my life. But other than that, they're great. They were not great. Um, right, that'll do for that. Next up. Ooh, hang on, are we off the end there? Yep, we are. Game Boy Color. Legend of Sada. Okay. Legend of Sada. Zelda is now Sada? When did that happen? I didn't get that memo. Empire of Doom, up SD up to external transmission. <laughs> I'm going to assume that's not a game. Is that a game we can play? <laughs> I'm getting the impression that... Unbelievably, it is a game. Okay, that's uh, a series of... Hot-blooded fighting in E-era. Warehouse legend! Oh my god, these are amazing. Crouching Tiger, okay, yep, 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 Metal Slug. Detective Conan, the Dark Legend of Zelda. Alloy Equipment Ghost Tower. What? Metal Gear Ghost Babel becomes Alloy Equipment Ghost Tower. Metal Alloy Gear Equipment Ghost Ghost Babel Tower. I mean, that makes sense, but how is that a translation? Have they done this on purpose to try and be less copyright naughty? I genuinely don't understand. Goddess Reincarnation, do the Black Book of the Reincarnation. Lucky Luke, not Lucky Look this time. Microsoft Playground. What? Microsoft Playground for the Game Boy Color. I never knew they released the Microsoft Entertainment Pack for the bloody Game Boy Color. Crikey, learn something today. Cotton Fairy, Ninja Era Fighter, Star Rush, now these are all relatively normal. Devour Heaven and Earth 2. That'd take a while, wouldn't it? Who's got the time to do that? Bloody hell. Come on, folks. Warehouse Legend is amazing. Hot Blooded Fighting, I'm enjoying particularly. Color of Mechanical War. Robocop? What? And it's a Game Boy Robocop. Oh, amazing. Well, at least I hope it's what the picture showed, because Game Boy Color Robocop is dog shit. It's Game Boy Color Robocop. Back out. Back out. Uh, right, fuck it. Let's just uh, go for Blade Fighter. We've got to play something. Very, very briefly. Marvel characters. What? Oh, Blade! As in the uh, vampire slaying person. The power of an immortal. The soul of a human. The controls of a bastard. Pow kitty. Um, well, it was Wesley Snipes tie in. Yep, all your favourites. Look. Yeah, don't care. Don't care. Just, just, just start games. Make a game, go start. Level one. Yep. Here we are. I know you're in here. No sense hiding. Your smell is enough to make me sick. Again, he's referring to the controls. Right. Oh god. This is weird. Ha! Well, that's a bit different, isn't it? Well, this is not the usual platformer gump, I suppose. No idea if that's any good or not. Game Gear Iron Fist of Wrath 2. This time, it's personal. Sonic Advance 2. Sonic Advance on the Game Gear? Yes, just Sonic 2. What? Towers Big Adventure? Oh, I don't know. Predator 2 Vampire Recovery? That's, uh, is that Castlevania? I've no idea what that'd be. No, Castlevania's Nintendo usually, isn't it? Star Trek, Star Wars, Spider-Man, Real Fight 2. 
<laughs> Mortal Kombat is now real fight. Right, I'm loving that. I'm going to have me some some real fight too. I seem to remember the Game Gear version of this was kind of uh, not as good as the Game Boy version. The graphics were like really, really good, but it didn't move as well as the Game Boy version. Mm. And obviously, you just want to play it on another console, really, because they were all a bit underpowered for this at the time. But it didn't stop them releasing it for the money. Right. Come on, then. Easy. Let's have some reptile action. That sounded bad out of context. Did sound great in context. Fight. Ooh, yeah, this is... Mm, ooh, yeah. Mm. Looks pretty, but does not play as well as the Nintendo bloody Game Boy version. Can you believe it? No, where's the... the that's kick, that's punch, right. Yay! Reptile did a win. I'm going to try and get the fatality out. Assuming it's the same as it is in the other versions. Oh no! He saw that coming. And, and that as well. I'm going to be honest, he's beating me up quite badly here. I should do some special moves, really, shouldn't I? Spit! Rip off your face and spit acid. Go on. Just like people do in Twitter comments. I can't seem to do that. Oh, there we are. Oh, no. Oh, there we are, the slide. I knew that'd come somewhere. Finish him. Oh, yes! Eat his head. Oh, what? Whoa, that was odd. I didn't know they'd sort of had weird fatalities with this one. Even in the Game Boy version, he eats his head. Oh, well. Just uh, did the Melina suck him into his mouth. That sounds really bad out of context. Right. <clears throat> Mega Drive. Well, we're going to use Sonic for this one. Not Mahjong Dao. Or Shark Shark. This time, there's two sharks. Sonic plus two. Sonic Boy. Sonic Advance 2. What? What the hell are most of these things? Attack Flying Dragon 1. Looks more like Strider. What? Yeah, Strider 2. What? Why is Strider attack flying dragon? This is the weirdest bloody thing. Um, go in Wolf of the B Wolf of the Battlefield. Oh come on, that is a command of three, isn't it? Not uh, whatever number two there. Fort Dune yesterday. Final empty teeth. Operation code Vapor Trail. Vapor Trail has become empty teeth. There's, I'm enjoying these names more now. Most games. Oh my God, Shinobi is now tolerance. Super Shinobi is super tolerance. <laughs> He's a tolerant man in an intolerant world. Bloody hell, Street Fighter 2 and Street Racing. Oh, here we are, Sonic Advance. Right, first Sonic. Let's listen to the sounds. Get the fluff off the screen. Ooh, that sounded about right. We'll know when it gets into the Green Hill Zone bit. Right, come on, demo mode. That's pretty good. That's much better than I was expecting. Yeah, it's moving well as well. Right, kick in with the uh, main tune. Yeah, that sound emulation's not... Yeah, no, that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Um, I was expecting awful sound in you, but no, I suppose they're using a decent core in RetroArch, so all is good. Excellent. Neo Geo. Right, I'm expecting this to sound good as well. Burning. F Fat Fursp. Again, a lot of games twice. Go on. Metal Slug's always nice and quick, isn't it? Go for it. Shh. Listening for the Neo Geo bit. Oh, free version. Okay. Yeah. Oddly quiet in the other games, but yeah, that sounded about right. Good. Insert coin. I've inserted all the coins. Now I would be bankrupt in real life. Oh, such a nice game. Such a dog shit control on this. Yep, yeah, this, this is like some sort of. This is basically a travesty trying to play this bloody thing. Oh, and of course, it's up to jump this as well, isn't it? No, it isn't. It's that button. Um, imagine. I shouldn't joke about that. I mean, trying to play a game that was up to jump on here would be some sort of proper bow torture. Right. Enough. All very positive. Um, except still uncontrollable. Finally. Oh, no. Well, all right. We'll do Super Famicom. Get that out of the way before we jump into the. Uh, PlayStation games. Electro sperm? What? Ghost Chaser has become Electro sperm? Soul Duel 3? Contra? Is what, what? Dauntless Fighter? Well, I mean, that might actually be that. Flame Heraldry 5 Beats the Criminal Police? 
Holy shit. Rushing beat has become beat the criminal police. That's dangerously politically uh, <laughs> charged in America at the moment. Um, right, let's go back. I want to try electrosperm. Because, I mean, who wouldn't? What's happening? Ban presto. Oh, I haven't seen that logo for a while. Bloody hell. Oh, my God. It's the opening of Steel Collar, man. Let's just go for it. Let us in. Ghost chaser. There's a ghost. It's running away. Make sure it doesn't. Uh, I want to be Belva because he's got an amusing head. No, I'm going to be her because she's got pointy elf ears. Go on. And that amuses me. This man has no eyes. Go and kill him. He's a ghost. He's on a busy street. He's the pretty boy at the intersection. Maybe a pointless Junji Ito reference for you. Go, go, go. Well, it's an uh, scrolly beat em up, but I can't find any attack buttons. There we are. I can't say you need to be able to redefine these controls because um, I don't know what the bloody hell they are half the time here. Fuck you, Jeep! Yay! I've never played that game before. I wonder what it's usually called over here. Ghost Chaser still, maybe? Can't imagine it's called Electrosperm. I don't know why. Just a hunch. And finally, PS. Postscript. Go on, then what we go. Oh, these are all going to be 2D games, aren't they? You <laughs> did Director X. Final Fantasy. Oh, three. Resident Evil Gun Survivor. That's an odd one time. Tekken 3. Fuck, that's the one I always use to bloody test these things. Contra Revolution. Mm, yeah, it's not a lot of 3D. Um, go on. Let's try Tekken 3 and see how this runs. Probably glitchy as all bums. Go on, give us a little bit of the intro. That's enough. Play Tekken now. Oh, I can't play Brian Fury, he won't be unlocked. Ugh. Go on then, let's get a good old Horang out. Who is both a whore and a boomerang. Uh, two very interesting uh, professions he follows there. Also, really good kickboxer. Ooh. Yeah, this ain't bad at all. Ooh, yeah. Right, we have to get some buttons going. We could... Uh, we do the hunting kicks. Can't remember which button starts those. Oh no! I've won already because it's very easy at the start. Oh, there we are! I can do this weird throw thing. Snap! Ah! Oh. Whoop! Oh bloody hell! No, I can't. Ah, there we are. We got it. This seems to run absolutely fine. Right, we've got to try another PlayStation game. So I do not trust this on its own. I had to press that button twice. Something else that's very 3D. I don't know what the Condor Heroes is. No, uh, Contra Revolution, Rave Racer. Go on. Let's do Ridge Racer Type 4. It's probably going to take a month to start a game of this, isn't it? Hmm, surprise. Why don't they have something like Brad Bash Cat? Bash Crandicoot? Yeah, why hasn't it got Bash Crandicoot on it? I never see Bash Crandicoot on anything these days, because I just made it up. Yeah, um, yeah, something like, I don't know, isn't Crash Bandicoot the obvious choice? Yeah. Well, I'm not complaining. We've got Tekken 3. I've pressed the wrong fucking button. <laughs> no, it's got to start again. We're going to be here for the rest of our lives. Oh, dearie me. Produced by Namco Limited. Marvellous. Right, skip something. That's good. Welcome it, thank you. Uh, just something quick. Time attack. Attack somebody called Tim. Oh no, yeah, has that actually gone to time attack or have I just cancelled it? What what's happening? Is it loading? Okay. Start. Automatic transmission. That's good enough for me, boys. Okay. Oh, I've got such an itchy nose. Naked glow. Hmm, interesting. It's so hot in here today. I'm sweating more than a sweaty man. Right, that should do. Oh, yeah, look. Got the button right. Oh, can't look at it. How do we... Uh, yep, there we are. Oh, is brake going to be top? Yes. Oh, nasty. Oh, use the analogue stick, which is A, digital, and B, useless. Yeah, it seems to be running all right. Oh, God, what's... I, I was confused by that. Do you know what? I don't think I've ever actually played this game. I'm not a man for uh, racing games at all, really. Surprised the first Ridge Racer wasn't on here. It was a Rave Racer, wasn't it? Mind you, probably load it. It's just bloody Ridge Racer. We said this was Rave Racer 4, it was Ridge Racer 4. Um, 
the PlayStation emulation seems fine. This surprises me. But unfortunately, of course, it's totally irrelevant because the controls are so bad, you can't bloody play anything. Does it say goodbye when you turn it off? Bye bye. Yes! <laughs> it literally says goodbye. Marvellous. Wonderful. Well, there you go. Um, we do have to test the uh, HDMI out. I shall splice that in here. Yeah, it works absolutely fine. I just plugged it in and uh, immediately came straight out. I could capture it as any other HDMI source. Yeah. So the HDMI out is good. But unfortunately, you'll still be using those controls. So, oh dear. Yep, I know we keep going on about it, but this is completely destroyed by the controls. I mean, these buttons are almost useless. This is almost useless. This is just dreadful. Um, these are almost passable. Basically, they're just as awful as those, but because they're buttons, you don't have to go diagonals and things on. You're not too bad. Um, I mean, uh, awful. Awful. Well, Power Kitty, you've done quite a good job under the hood. Um, I honestly thought we were going to see some bad stuttering and glitching on the PlayStation emulation, but that seemed fine. But, um, you know, maybe if you would try some of the more punishing games... Mind you, Ridge Racer Type 4, I mean, that's pretty high-end, isn't it? Dunno. Dunno about that. But I tell you what I do know about. I spent £67.46 on this and I was fucking ripped off. I mean, really. This... It, it's, it's just useless because the controls are no good. As simple as that. What a bloody shame. If you could slide them off and attach something else, you'd be all right, but no. It ain't happening, not in any way, shape, or form. I mean, even for 30 quid, it's just pointless. It's just pointless because you can't play the bloody games in it. What a terrible shame that is. Well, Pow Kitty, you're so crap. You're so crap, you broke my back. Pow Kitty, I don't know why it broke my back with bad controls. Perhaps I had to move left to not break my back. Right, boy, boy.